you guys what is happening. So, <clears throat> today is Wednesday. We have had our dogs for one week as of today, and it has been an insane week. Insane, insane, insane. Um, it it's weird because you know you haven't had them for very long, and yet it's feel like you you feel like you've had them for a lifetime, which is just a crazy amount of time. Anyway, I said if we passed our solo, that I would tell you guys who my dog is, and. Uh, for those who uh, know me on Facebook or Instagram, you uh, would have already had this revealed earlier in the day, but due to busyness issues, it's a lot harder to uh, post a, a video during the day, so I typically wait until the evening to do that kind of stuff. So, um, currently my dog is grooming, so before... Um, before I tell you guys who my dog is, I'm going to go over kind of what we did today. So if you want to know who the dog is, definitely stick around to the end of the video for that reveal. So today was the final solo. So after breakfast and all that good stuff, we headed out. I was the first today. And I was doing a solo solo, which basically just means that I was by myself on the solo. Um, you could also do doubled solo, which just means that someone else in your group is with you. Um, I, we kind of ended up making it a double solo in that I met up with somebody else who was doing a solo solo, and we kind of just doubled up together. <laughs> so we kind of did it that way, which kind of worked out nicely because I knew the route more, but this person was better at judging traffic. Uh, well, I should say better at it, but they were more confident in it I guess or they made me more confident in it I don't know how to describe that but basically I felt it's not that I have a problem judging traffic because I really don't it's the paranoia that you're being watched while you're doing it and yes I know I get watched by strangers all the time but it's different because the instructors are I don't want to say judging you but they're kind of judging you I mean <laughs> let's just face it that's what they're doing they're evaluating you and the dog and figuring out can you deal with the situations that come up when they're not right behind you helping you out and so it's it just adds that extra level of pressure if they were right beside me and I was doing it I wouldn't have as much problem um, but you know <laughs> so it's part of the process um, so it's just that extra level of, of pressure but the solo went well, um, we did really good for the most part, there was a couple little hiccups, but nothing that we couldn't get past, which is the whole point. And um, after that, we came back, oh jeez, what did we do in the morning? We did a lot of stuff today, guys, we really, 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 really did. Oh yeah, we came back and... Um, did photos so that was a kind of a rush to get ready for we did photos we got our um, group photos as well as our ID photos taken and then we had lunch after lunch we everyone's kind of splitting up because after the solo you get into freelance so today was the start of freelance so for me we did um, Um, basically, we today we did grocery store, so we went out to a grocery store and worked on the things that we needed to work on, which for us for trains it's not a huge deal. We we know the mechanics of doing the grocery store stuff with the dog, um, so we did a little bit. I did a little bit of grocery store, uh, grocery cart work. Um, I didn't do everything like I did last time. Like there's three basically different ways to handle going through a grocery store. There's working your dog, and then there's working your dog with a cart or basket. There's different methods for those sort of things. So we're gonna use cart as an example here because I very rarely use a basket. So then there's working your dog with a cart. And then there is um, healing your dog with a cart. So um, each of them require different things, but I mean, I know how to do it because I've had a dog before, so I didn't need to do that again. It was just kind of seeing how this dog 
did. So, yeah, that went okay. Um, apparently, I need to make another trip back to the grocery store because I didn't pick enough up of something that I had been asked to pick up. So, uh, I had requests to pick up certain products while well it's in the States because they're products you can't find in Canada. And yeah, I gotta go get some more of those. So, I'll do that at some point. Uh, and what else? Um, came back, had a little bit of uh, free time, so we ended up doing the free run area for the dogs. And just did some basic mechanics in that. And then, after all of that, we uh, had dinner, and then we had a vet lecture, which was like, like a two hour lecture basically. And just talking about different mechanics, you know, vaccinations, food, uh, toys, general health, travel, like just a whole bunch of different kind of stuff. So we did that for a while. And then let's see. Yeah, that was about it. Some of us had like a little celebration kind of thing. Not for the solos, just for something else, but I'm not going to get into that. Um, so there was a group of us just hanging out, enjoying each other's company, having some food and all that. And uh, then we just sat around talking for a bit. Some people left, some people stayed, and then we just sat around for like half an hour to an hour. And then it, we realized it was like 9.30 and everyone was like, okay, time to go to bed. So, um, yeah, it's pretty close to 10, 10 o'clock at this point, and uh, that's basically all that today was. So, you guys want to know who my dog is? Alright, so I'm not going to be showing the dog right now. Um, I'll, I'll attach some photos and a little bit of the video I've caught of the dog. But I'm not going to attach it right now. I'm not going to do a video right now because like I said it's like 10 o'clock at night. And well, I'm not, my dog's still awake, but I'm not going to play with the dog right now. So if you just get me talking to you and yeah, tomorrow you'll get to see more of the dog in the videos, which also means I'll probably be skipping to my phone. So we will see what happens. Alright, second time. Sorry, I'm resisting yawning right now. Um, so if I made a weird face there, I apologize. Second time at seeing eye, seeing eye, and I have received a female black lab named Lucky. Who probably just starting to wiggle because I said her name. <laughs> So yes, I received a little black lab named Lucky, and uh, she, I know it sounds like a male name, but it, trust me, it's a female. Yeah, it's a female, okay? And I've been told that she looks like a little panther, which is adorable. She's, she's cute. She's tiny. Um, she is a small black lab, so when you hear black lab and you're thinking 90 pounds, uh-uh, that's not how big this dog is. Um, as a reference... I will try to insert a picture of Yoshi, my previous guide, right here. So Yoshi is, uh, last time we me I measured her and had her weight, she was between 25 and 26 inches tall at the shoulder, and she weighed 72 pounds, okay? This little labby girl, who I guess I'll show you guys the photos at the end of the video, um, is 20 and a half inches tall so odds are she might do a little bit more filling out a little bit but i'll get to that in a second so she might reach up to 21 inches but it's probably unlikely and um she weighs 45 pounds so she's a tiny little thing <laughs> nearly half the size of yoshi so yes um yeah that's just She's all restless right now. And that's just how big she is. Um, Lucky's birthday. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
um, Lucky's birthday is September 13th, 2017. So she's 25 months old right now. She'll be 26 months old the day before I go home. And that's the main reason I said that she probably won't do too much more filling out. She might do a little bit more, but I, I doubt she's going to grow much taller. So, um, she'll probably always be 20 and a half inches-ish. And, uh, you know, might do a little bit more filling out, might reach 50 pounds, but it'll probably be about that, um, if anything. So, I think when I got Yoshi, Yoshi did a little bit more filling out within the first four months and then she stopped, you know, kind of thing. Maybe six, but it wasn't very long. And I got Yoshi at uh, 22 months, roughly. 21 months, 22 months, so. Um, so that is my new puppy dog. Um, like I said, things have been going well. Um, it's been really disconcerting having a lab. Um, I have this guilty part of me who's like, embrace the lab, and there's just another part of me who's like, but I really did want a shepherd. <laughs> and then there's that reminding part of me that says, you did not prefer it, you did not ask for it, therefore you are not allowed to be upset about it. <laughs> and then there's the other part of me that says, and besides, it's a good experience for you to get away from a shepherd. But I've always had kind of a kingship with the fluffier, pointy ear, longer muzzled dogs, and so it's just, it's just weird. I, um, I'm very curious to know what kind of experiences I'm going to have with the lab, because the experience I had with the shepherd was that very rarely did people bother me, very rarely did people, don't get me wrong, I had a lot, I had a lot of people like, oh, that's such a pretty dog. And all that stuff, but I very rarely had anyone petting my dog without asking, or any, or trying to feed my dog without asking, or any of that. So I'm just really curious to see if that changes with a lab, you know, because I don't know, maybe it was me and the way I looked, people didn't want to approach, but I mean, when they see a dog, they rarely see the person attached to the dog, so um, maybe they didn't want to approach a shepherd, I really don't know. Um, Maybe it's just the community I live in. People are really respectful. I, I really don't know. Um, I want to say it's the community because with Mika, um, the thing I found is that people would assume, they, they would see the dog, they would see the cane, and they would assume that she was a service dog, which obviously isn't the case. Mika's never been a service dog, but that's what people assumed. And so, you know... I, they would assume that and people wouldn't really bother her. Now again, huskies do kind of, they can look intimidating. Mika does have that little thing around her eyes that you know, makes her look a bit more, you know, <laughs> evil, I guess you could say. And the white eye, which, you know, some people love and some people don't, so. Um, but it's just, it's just been a weird experience having a lab. Like, I, I did, I did want a lab. If I was going to get any breed while I was here, I really wanted a black lab, so I didn't say that. I did not prefer it. I didn't put anything like that, but in my mind, that's what I wanted. If I wasn't going to get a shepherd, I wanted a black lab, and I got a black lab, so, um, yeah, happy with that. And she's a really good girl. She does have her quirks, but what dog doesn't? They're all individuals, and they all have their own personalities, and they're not robots. Okay, let me repeat that. They are not robots. <laughs> this dog sniffs a lot. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> I figured that out in the grocery store today. Uh -huh. Sniffing, sniffing, sniffing. Um, earned herself a few corrections in the store. Not very hard corrections, but um, she definitely earned them because she couldn't keep her nose off the shelf. <laughs> Um, don't get me wrong, Yoshi would do the same thing, but Yoshi was a lot less likely to do it, whereas this dog just constantly has her nose to the ground. So, like I said, some things to work on, but don't we all? So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the photos of the dog, and dogs, I guess I should say. And um, that is who my puppy is, so. So much energy. Oh, and she got that. 
Where are you going, young one? She was lying there quite chill, but now she's moving. I think she hears people in the hallway. So, lucky. Little lucky girl. Hi. Come here. I know. Good girl. She's a bit of a squeaker. And she's a bit of a talker. And she's very sprawly. She likes to roll and then crawl on your lap and kiss. She's a very, very, very big kisser. Right, little lucky girl? Right? She was trying to eat my watch. And she's starting to squeak at me because she wants to go. Lucky. Hi. Good girl. Any squeakers? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're fine. All good. All good. What? Mm -hmm. And down she goes. <laughs> and she's elbowing my toes. You're elbowing my toes. <laughs> Lucky, where's your comb? Go get it. That's a bone. That's a bone. That's your comb. There you go. You found it, but you didn't grab it. You didn't grab it. Bones are dangerous. They're dangerous things. Those bones are dangerous things. Oh.